my name is Lydia. I am a science ambassador here at the University of Texas at Arlington. And today I'll be showing you guys a briggs rosher oscillation reaction, also known as an oscillating clock reaction. So I have these two beakers here of different chemicals. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about them, but we're just gonna call this beaker A and beaker B. And like I said, both have different chemicals inside them. And I'm just going to just pour them in. I'm just gonna do it at the same time. And you're going to see something happen here in a minute. Now oscillating, you might have heard the word before, is basically just going to be swinging back and forth. And we're going to observe that here as the ions swing back and forth from products to reactants, causing a bit of a change in color. And I have a little stir bar to help with the process. I'm just gonna add it. We don't normally drop it like that, but we're going to right now. And I'm just gonna help stir it. Now, as you can see, it's oscillating colors between kind of a grayish blue to an amber gold. Back and forth. Now that our oscillating clock experiment has stopped, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of a decolorizer. And this is also known as hypo for those of you who ever worked with photography. And I'm just going to add it here. As you can see, it might look familiar. It might look like Coke or Dr. Pepper, some sort of soda drink that you may like. It's kind of almost like grape soda. Just to show you how much it looks like grape soda, I'm going to pour it into a cup of ice just to kind of, and as I pour it, it actually looks more like Coke and fizzes up like it. So this is just a great reminder. Don't drink anything or eat anything you see in lab because even though this looks like a delicious beverage, um, it's not. It's not. It definitely contains something like hydrogen peroxide, a couple acids. You don't want to drink something like this, even if it looks really refreshing. Again, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.